there are two, three lessons in this page. First is playing tennis. Go to the first slide. I'm going to stick to this page 12. First thing is playing. When you girls play, you st become strong. You become very stamina oriented. And you learn to compete. And then you win, you lose. And then you practice. It brings a whole new form of discipline in your life. Books give you knowledge, information. But when you play, the whole body, mind, bodies, everything is coordinated. You practice, you win, you lose, doesn't matter. You play, number one. For the girls and the boys, when your children, playing outdoor game is very, very good. Indoor games, indoor activities is very good. But along with that, if you use, if you add outdoor game to your student life, your college life, school life, it's very good. So once you get into this outdoor game, you'll become stronger. You'll emerge as a stronger person compared to many others. So you run, whether you jog, whether you play basketball, volleyball, table tennis, badminton, all these are very, very good games all games athletics all kinds of athletics which you like and if i had not been a tennis player i would never have qualified for the indian police service because i was a strong girl a lot of stamina a lot of competitive spirit i knew what what it is to win i knew what it is to lose i knew what it is to win a trophy i knew what it is to work hard I knew all this and I also played fairly, not cheat, because when you play, everybody's watching. You can't cheat. You learn to be fair and honest. My mommy and my father put me to games. So if your parents advise you to tell you, accept them, obey them. And my message to your parents, if they are listening to you, would be please put your children into an outdoor game. It will give this nation healthier children. They'll get more disciplined children. And they will get sportsman spirit. See, what is sportsman spirit? Sportsman spirit is where you learn to take things as, it, as they come. You appreciate and you don't complain. You practice again to do better. That's called sportsman spirit. And best part is you shake hand with the winner and say, thank you. Well done. Congratulations. And say, I'm going to No, Well done. That's called sportsman spirit. You cannot learn it reading a book. You can learn it only by playing. So this is my first message for you. Secondly is when you want to achieve something and you love it and if something's coming in the way, which is coming in the way and you can dispense with it. It's a baggage. For me, my long hair now was like a baggage. It was coming in my way. I can grow hair when I want to. But at the moment, I want to play without any worry. And I want to enjoy playing because now I could take a bath anytime. I could go for a shower and I could just say, and my hair would dry. And all I have to every time I knot my hair, every time I knot my hair, I shampoo my hair. I tell my mommy, please clean my hair. No way. See, I saved time. For me at that time, saving time and putting my energy on what was required was important. So when you're growing up, what is not necessary, you don't need to carry it along. B value your time and therefore don't waste your time on other things. This is my second message. And third, when you do, when you take up a, a, a decision of your own, if somebody's don't like it, so be that's their problem, not yours. So I didn't worry, oh, mommy, boys are saying this, girls are saying this, relatives are saying this. Let them say what they want. I'm the tennis player. I'm the one who wants to learn. It's my decision. And my parents have approved it. I don't need your approval, my friends. I don't need approval of the rest of you. For me, my parents have loved it. I like it. I'm fine. So these are three, three, three messages I wanted to share with you children. Thank you. Lots of love. Bless you. Thank you.